Hello there, folks. DJ Bergstar here, back with another tip of the day. So today I have a really quick tip for you. I found a really cool Max for Live device that I think you should use when you're looking to widen a sound or make it sound more unison um, and really add some character to a sound you might have. So I put on this sort of melody line um, in this track here and it sounds pretty good the way it is but when you throw on this align delay what it does is, is it separates the left and right and gives it a little bit of a delay um, from the left and right speaker and in that way it really widens the sound um, and let me show you what it sounds like when it's on and off so this is with it off um, let's play this and I have this ozone imager here it's not actually on or doing anything it's just here to show us a graph so you can see the difference of this align delay device when it's on and off so here's without it and you'll see the sound is sort of coming from the center here Let's solo this. It's a nice sound, but we're going to add some delay to this align delay um, on, let's just try the left here. Here we go. Now you'll see how that sound really spread out from the left speaker to the right speaker. They're just playing at different times, so it didn't really add some sort of stereo imaging. It's just playing the left and the right at different times. And it just really adds a lot of character to this sound. That's off. Turn it on. Nice. All right. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. You'll find the align delay in the utilities folder um, in the Ableton audio effects. And if you have a melody line or something and you want to spread it out, and have sort of a delay from the left speaker to the right speaker. Um, this will add a lot of texture to that uh, uh, melody line or whatever um, instrument you want to put it on. So um, anyway, that's my tip of the day. Hope it helps you guys out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. DJ Bergstar out.